Hey, what's going on? This is Urzra. And what you see in front of you is T-Edit. As, yeah, and here is my pack map that you may or may not have seen. I'm still in the works on it. I have, you know, just have the basic stuff in. I've got, um, I used the, um, the house for CTG. So you can do C CTG if you want. Although it's it's small, it's a magical map, just kind of like the Joust map was that that Sloth made the how he made it. He made his where it was like just you know just the Joust, just the lance because it gives you that feel of Joust. So on my map, I'm doing basically mana objects. I've got um, Demon Scythe, uh, Cursed Flames, and and the Ice Rod. Another thing that I added with this map is uh, gravitational potions. As you can see with this map, it's all it, it's perfect for gravitation potions. I mean, you got you have one spot where you go basically all the way up and down the map. I mean, it, you could do whatever you want with it. You could add or take away from chests, whatever, however you wanna, however you wanna do it. So. I am going to cut over right now. Okay, so I'm at the bottom of the bottom bottom left of the map, and this is where, you know, you've got the the meteor head corner. So you do get a little bit of PvE aspect of it. You got your meteor heads. And it, it is a mana based map, I'm not gonna lie. It's you know, I'm keeping it balanced that way. Everybody gets three of the same items that are magic-based. So you had your one that was melee-based, which was Sloth's Joust map. I do have two other maps, which are dungeon arenas, and we're kind of we're kind of working it out that way. You know, and of course, if you wanted to do capture the gem, there's two little areas here for it. I don't know how, because since you start right here. I don't know how the capture the gem part would fit into it. It might end up being like hallways going up and stuff, and I didn't want to. I really didn't want to do that, so I just I put it, I made it a small CTG map that you know if you wanted to. But other than that, I mean, each chest has 20 gravitational potions. So what you can do with that? Oh, and here's the ref's clothes. Guy looks pretty slick. But no, you're gonna have your ice rod, which I'll show you what I usually do with it. You know, stuff like that. Uh, and you got your jungle armor for your mana. You got full mana, full health, gravitation, specter boots, cloud in a bottle. I'm not gonna worry about uh, a shield because I mean that's fun. Knockback is the fun part of it. And I took some suggestions and made it made it also to where. Each side has a different color clothing, like the red team is going to have Mario stuff. And the blue team is going to have Link stuff. Even though he's green, it works blue versus red versus blue. Because when you get up over here, oh, I'm not going to show you that corner. But once you get here, you have like the scoreboard where the scores would be for player one. And then you've got the high score. I kind of lowered it a bit from the picture. If you saw the picture, I did do. I did. If you saw the picture, I did add a bunch. But here's that huge drop I was talking about. This basically takes you from the top end to the bottom of the map right away, back to where your extra packs are and the meteor heads. Yeah. But also, if you if you 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 start well here, you get out of my. Run, and you leave. The reason I have the ice rod in there is because you you know you go by and you leave the dots. So yeah, that's that's that. And I guess I'm going to show you since it's a mana based map. I did where the power pellets would go on. On the Pac-Man map, I added the uh, crystal balls, which when clicked give you a buff. So, yeah, got a map, and this is going to be, like, it's it's a huge, huge Pac-Man map. I do have another idea for another map. Not quite sure what it's going to be. I have two ideas I'm working on. One involves something Habs would like, and then one, one based off of a game that I liked before. 
Oh, we got a meteor. Head Anyways, head. thank you for watching. This has been it has been fun creating this map, and I hope it'll be fun for those who play this map when we and then of course with before we release this map, we will probably do some testing to kind of see what we could add to it to make this, that, or the other thing work. This has been Herzra from Hold Reset Gaming. Later!